Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kumbo Man. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I want to talk about IT jobs. Again, I know my, my channel is mostly about IT jobs and helping people get IT jobs, right? Right now is the best time to get an IT job. Today is uh, November 27th, 2017. But basically around November, uh, October, November, even December is the best time to get an IT job. The reason for that is for most companies, the fiscal year ends around this time, not actually at the end of December, but around this time, October or November. I don't know what the reason for that is, but the reason I know is because a few years back, before I even started my channel, I went on some test interviews. I went on, I went on some test interviews in order to, you know, you know, understand what these interviews are about so I can get better knowledge, so I can get better videos for you guys. And of course, it's, it's been working and that's, it's amazing. I'm really glad that I helped thousands of people get IT jobs, which is amazing. Uh, guys, I'm so happy for you. But I just want to let you know that right now is the best time to get these IT jobs. So I went on these interviews, on these test interviews. So during these interviews, I actually really didn't care what I kind of asked. Because, you know, at the, at the end of the interview, they always ask you, do you have any questions for us? And of course, you have to have you know, a couple of questions that are kind of related to this job. So I decided to actually ask a question that most people would probably ask at all. I asked them, why are you hiring for this position? Because you don't know. You don't know why they're hiring for this position. It could be that the previous person, you know, was just a bad, you know, bad worker, bad associate, and they fired him because he did something bad. Who knows? At the same time, it could be because this you know, previous person that was in this job position, they could have just left because this company treated him, treated him badly, right? They treated him badly. That's a possibility, you don't know. So I was asking these questions at the end of interviews just to see what kind of reaction they have. And a lot of times they kind of uh, hesitated and kind of looked down, you know? So when you ask somebody something and they try to look down a little bit, they could be kind of, uh, you know, lying. You know what I mean? That's the like, that's kind of a hint. When you talk to somebody and you ask them a question, they look away, this and that, they could be lying. You know, a lot of times they did that too. I mean, I'm just, this is just real talk. This is what happened. You know, I'm not making this up. But when they did answer, um, a lot of times they said, well, this is the end of the fiscal year for us. And now we actually have extra budget to hire a new person or additional person for our company, right? So this is why I'm saying right now is probably the best time to apply for these type of jobs and I'm sure this actually applies to other types of jobs you know not just IT you know what I mean but again you know whether you're applying for desktop support um, you know network administration system administration uh, web development all kinds of stuff that are related to IT I definitely have videos for that that will specifically prepare you for these type of interviews and I'll go ahead and of course post the links and, and you can see little thumbnails at the end of the video and I'll definitely do that for you guys. But what I'm also trying to say is you should definitely go for these jobs because now there's uh, less competition for you uh, be because there are so many job op openings, right? So instead of having, you know, 100 people apply for one job, you will have, I don't know, 50, 50 people for apply for one job or maybe even less because there'll be more jobs available, you know? So you guys should definitely, definitely go for that. However, I make sure before you go for these jobs, and now I, I, I say this quite a lot, but because I really think it's important, tailor your, tailor your resume specifically for this job that you're applying for. So if this job requires somebody with specific skill sets, make sure you list that, you know? Of course, I'm not saying lie, but make sure you list that skill set that you have so that way they can see it the first thing. Keep your resume one page, that's very important. And, uh, you know, make sure you just go for these jobs because if you really want to, especially entry type, entry level type of jobs. Again, I've said this many times before for desktop support, PC support, you know, just basic, you know, computer assistance jobs. You do not need education, right? You don't need education. You don't need education, you know, jobs like network administration, system administration, they may need some kind of degree, certificates or whatever, you know, but don't be discouraged 
thinking that if you don't have a you know a degree or, or an IT or whatever that you don't that you can't do this job, you definitely can do this job, especially desktop support, guys. I'm telling you, you know, I this is my my channel is proof. Just look at look at all the the the, the views and all the likes that I have on specifically desktop support and a lot of amazing comments and guys i am so happy i am so happy that this worked out for a lot of people i'm telling you i helped thousands of people get it jobs especially desktop support right so guys definitely go for it do not hesitate this if you ever wanted hey if you're into christmas this could be an amazing christmas gift for you to get a new it job all right guys thank you so much don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you again bye bye